It's everyone's favourite Christmas cactus. Alice LPS. Hey everyone, and Christmas is just a few days away, so I wanted to create a little festive video for you guys. I know a lot of the other LPS tubers are probably going to be doing big skits, so I wanted to do something that was a little bit more chill and have a chit chat with you guys. And who doesn't love a tiger haul? Well actually this is a haul from a couple of different shops. So I guess I'll start with the things that I didn't buy from Tiger because I did get a lot from Tiger. <laughs> Alright, first up I got these like papers which I thought would be great for LPS backdrops. I picked up both of these from Poundland and you get 8 different designs and 24 sheets and I think that's a really good deal. They're 6 by 6 inches so they're a little bit small but you could layer them up like along the wall. But I thought some of these designs especially at the top here would make some really pretty wallpapers for like a Christmas house or something. So let's have a look at the designs. First is the front cover and I had this idea of where you could cut the small ones out and they could be LPS size backdrops for your LPS playing with LPS. Does that make sense? Like if you're using Teensies as an LPS like you had an LPS tuba video. So I might do that and maybe use them in a future video. So the first one is a green background with these red bows on it. Then a cream one with some bells. You can't really see the details but there's like this kind of cross hatching. It's really pretty this one. And then we have this simple red which will be really useful in like any sort of like living room or maybe a kitchen. And then we have these really beautiful hollies. Then we have some some simple Christmas stripes. You could probably do some paper crafting and also turn them into like little LPS sized present boxes. That would be super cute as well. And then we have this one. I'm not really fond of this one. I think they would make really cute present boxes as well. And then we have like some plaid tartan print. I really do like tartan but I feel like this one is a bit like dingy. It's not very brightly coloured. Oh and the last one is this. I can't remember what this flower is called but it's like in a lot of motifs so at Christmas and there's some holly. I really like this one so make a cute little background. And I also got the Let It Snow set. I really like the pastel blue colours on these and I think it will go well with my mascot's eyes. Once again there are like little miniature prints that I could cut out. So first we have some little Christmas trees on a blue background. This is really nice and simple. And then we have this one which I don't really like. <laughs> Honestly it looks water damaged but it's not like unintentional, like it's printed like that. Maybe it'll be good as like a bathroom tile or in a kitchen or something but I don't think I'll be using it as a background anytime soon. Next we have some wolves which I also don't think I'll use. Maybe I could use it in like a boy's bedroom or something but I never really use boy's bedrooms in my videos so I don't know if I'll use that. Next we have some simple polka dots. I think that's kind of nice. And then we have some snowflakes on a black backdrop. That's really pretty. I do like that one. And then we have some stars. Once again, I don't know when I'll use these. Maybe in like a children's bedroom or something. Then we have some deer. I, I don't know when I'm going to use this either. I don't know. I do like the print on this. Maybe it would be better for like um, actually scrapbooking or something. And the last design is like a white background with blue snowflakes. I think these are really pretty and a really great price for a pound. But the question is which background do we use in this video? Hmm. I think this makes a cute combo with the glittery floor. Alright, now moving on to the stuff that I bought from Tiger. I bought this stuff only a couple of days before Christmas so everything was only a pound each which was a bargain! But it also meant that a lot of the stock was sold out but I did find a couple of things that I could use in my videos and I think they're really cute so let me share them with you. Alright let me get this one out of the way, it's not necessarily Christmas themed but it was in the Christmas section. It's this pretty metal wire and it's perfect for making LPS necklaces and little accessories. I have one in a blue colour which I originally used for a necklace tutorial and these were originally sold for £3 each and getting this for a pound is a bargain so I picked up this one. Maybe I should have picked up a few more in a different colours but oh well, maybe if they're still on sale when I next go, I highly doubt it but if they are maybe I'll pick some up and I could put them in the future giveaway maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should have done that yesterday, oops my bad. But now I can make necklaces with a pink chain and it's really cool, yay. Okay the next thing is really exciting. Um, yes the things that are wrapped in paper. Actually two of these things are meant for this video and another one is something else so let's find out which ones are which. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
This is not for the video. But we're here now, I'll include it anyway. It's everyone's favorite Christmas cactus. All of the Christmas ornaments were only a pound and I had this idea when I go visit home for Christmas, I'm gonna sneak this little ugly cactus ornament on the tree. And when I'm back home in London and my parents have put down the Christmas tree, they're gonna be like, where did this ugly cactus ornament come from? It's gonna be a Christmas miracle mystery. Even though I said it was ugly, I think it's kind of like cute ugly. I like the bright green on it. It's got some glitter here in a zigzag. And my favorite part are these little spots because they have a little tinsel hair like stuck on it just like a cactus has hair, you know? So it's the perfect gift, the Christmas cactus. Anyway, so these two bundles must be the things that I was gonna be showing you guys. So this first one, dun dun dun. Okay. And this second one. When I was going through the Christmas decorations, they didn't have any of the miniature trees left in stock, which are perfect for our PS videos, but they did have these miniature tree ornaments. I don't know about you, but who's going to put a tree on the tree for Christmas? I don't know. And each set comes with two, so they were only 50p each, which is a real good deal. Let's free them. Okay, so this one is the first one and also my favorite. I mostly bought these just for the pink tree so I could take some aesthetic pastel LPS photos for Instagram. So this pink one came with a green tree. I like this set the most because the pink is like my pastel side, but this is also like the classic green tree. And the other thing I love about these is the fact they are covered in glitter. Like even though the glitter is messy, it looks really pretty. And the miniature trees they used to sell that sold out did not have the glitter on them. They were just plain trees. So I got a really good deal with these guys and I think they would work better as like indoor Christmas trees for like houses rather than the ones that go outside, you know? So this pink tree is covered in silver glitter and has a little pink base and the green tree is covered in green glitter so I like how they change things up. And I also got this set. So we have this silver tree which has silver glitter on it and this gold tree which has silver glitter on it I think. My hands are so sparkly. So we have all of these trees but we need something to decorate them with. Oh how about this tinsel I purchased in my last tiger haul. I was hoping to pick up some gold and maybe some silver but they actually don't have it in stock anymore from what I could find which was a shame but maybe they'll have it back next year. But I think this pink tinsel will look really awesome on this silver tree and maybe the pink one as well because it's a different shade of pink. Yeah that is super cute, I'm gonna totally add that on and maybe stick like a pretty bead or something on the top as like a little fairy or a star. Oh actually I really like that on the pink tree as well, yeah okay I'm sold, I love it, yay. <laughs> so if you want to see the photos that I take on my Instagram go check it out, I'll do a little plug, LSLPSTV on Instagram. Go follow me! They also had fake snow but I'd purchased the exact same one last year so I'll just show you it now. I put it in this jar. Sadly we're up to our last thing and it's not that exciting. <laughs> it's this wreath. <laughs> I honestly don't really know why I bought it but it was only a pound and I really liked the pastel pink and it was the last pastel pink one they had left and I thought I could use it next year as decoration or like as a set background, like it does separate into like different wired pieces, so yeah. All right, that is all the budget LPS Christmas things that I purchased and hopefully will feature in a Christmas special next year. Sorry guys, I didn't do one this year. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you have a really good Christmas and a happy new year and yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I hope you guys have a wonderful time with all of your family and you eat loads of food and you get things you want. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're watching this after Christmas. If you got anything good, um, what have you done? Have you spent time with your family? Have you been putting up decorations? Let me know. And I'll see you guys next week in a new video. Bye guys!